All right, let's go ahead and get this thing plugged up, shall we? And I'm gonna put these into the front USB hole pub on my tower. And I was right, that white section behind that honeycomb on both the mouse and keyboard is where all this uh, RGB comes from. And right away, mouse is already pretty responsive. So let's install the generic drivers. And from my understanding, reading the instructions, there is a website I can get customized drivers for this keyboard to allow me to, I'm guessing, change the uh, color pattern, palette, etc. Um, let's see here, and I'll be right back once I have that set up. All right, so it looks like there is a separate uh, executable for the mouse as well as for the keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those both downloaded and installed. And we'll go from there. So I like the fact that there are two buttons here, two buttons there. There's a button on the scroll wheel as well as a uh, DPI button. So that's a total of six buttons. DPI is kind of a cheat one though. And let's take a look, see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run with recommended settings. Click on next. Just going to next through the uh, setup wizard here. And let's go ahead and run that software. All right, so it looks like it comes with a macro editor as well as a bunch of different options that I'll let you guys play with. And your options are random color or a color picker. So that will change all my colors at the same time. So fixed on, change, take random color off, set to some red. Let's apply that and all right, so it looks like the core goes red, but I keep the dancing rainbow on the periphery. Eh, there might be more settings in there. I'll take a look at that later. Well, there you guys go. That's the uh, Marvo Combo Blue Switch, and that's going to be on the CM373.